Okay, now we have pack number two called Contrast. Our 12 by 12 huge craft sheet looks like this. It's that on one side and that on the other. I'll show you in more detail. And on the A4 we have red, which is similar. There's a lot of crossover. Um, in terms of similar numbers of A4 pieces of paper and card and desk, but they're quite each one is quite different. In this, we have a lot of handbags. There we go. You can see the glitter, glittery handbags. So if you're into drawing figures, you can just pop one of these in to complement your image instantly. Quite nice for greetings cards if you're a card maker. We have just for you. Can you see my hand through it? You can see what kind of film. It's almost like film. That one. Another see-through one, exactly like our first pack. This one is. So if you missed out on that, but you liked that sheet, that's in this one too. This is a one-sided, black and white, reasonably glossy on the surface. Um, quite stiff card, that one. The thin paper in the gloss again green gold one side blue the other either uh, it's kind of like a coloring page <coughs> excuse me it's a sunshine um but you, i think you can use these as decorative elements as well Again, one-sided, it's an unusual shape this one and size. The birds and dream catchers, I suppose that way. So beautiful. Oh, don't they go well together. Sorry, sidetracking myself. <laughs> it's so pretty. <laughs> Let's do these next. We have another Buzzcraft sheet in this one as well. And this one's kind of candy pop. The other one was candy stripe in the other kit. Thick card in a very pale mint green and silver. Um, another couple of pages from the music uh, encyclopedia type book with not just fab font, but all these incredible images as well. Just love this book on so many levels. Two of the, no, more than that, you guys get more. One, two, three, four of the cake icing smoothing sheets. Cross between paper and card. Really, really interesting texture stuff. Ancient, ancient, ancient. Beethoven sonnets, I believe it was. Music book, anyway. Really big size, these are fab. Background papers, collages. Take your pick, knock yourself out. Okay, some papers made by me now. Oldy worldy looking. This is a beige unbleached sheet to begin with, and then I've aged it up using watercolours. You see all that texture and variety in the coverage, and then we've got the script stamp all over it. So a bit, a bit of a treasure map vibey type of parchment that brings to mind. And a collage paper or a background started for you or whatever you wish to use these for. Another old book I've got. Illustrated book of birds and we've got a colour side and a black and white side. The Romany Rye, everybody gets a few pages from that. There's one here, we might come across more but you definitely got a double sided and you get the other two, so the first two were in pack one, and in pack two you get the other two uh, from the series of four paintings that I did in black and white, mixed media, they've got, um, this one's got napkin in it. Explorations in black and white. This is I Want Explore, coast to coast. You not only have dress pattern, 
but I thought I'd just give you the wallet that it came in as well and I've cleaned my brush off a few times and cleaned off stamps so it's kind of started as a whatever you might want a, you know collage paper or what have you then the little sheet that's like industrial styly it's a real green this one it's coming across quite gray on the camera but it's it's quite greeny in the flesh so that's just like the same thing that was in the other kit um kind of journaling sheet it's card so you can just use it to art on if you want but i think the questions are really cool something you may not know is hard for me is how you can be a good friend to me is so you could fill that in and send that off with some snail mail to a friend or just use it for your art there's another page from double page from the illustrated bird book color black and white color There's the other sheet of Romany Rye. Most people are getting two sheets of that. We have some stickers. A For You mini gift tag and then a few random letters. I'm not sure if you can still make words out of those or if you will just want to use them as sequins. So I just threw them in as extras. Blank postcard, which you may use as a postcard if you wish or maybe color this in or not and use that as a focal point or a decorative feature on something else. Okay, very similar to the previous pack. We have a lot of these two-tone. This is a kind of red and a green. Can I get the green? There we go, see the green? Can't get the green to show up. There, really interesting. It goes sort of gold, peachy, red, green. We've got another one of those. I think that's exactly the same. And then we have a pink and purple. And that kind of gets green at a certain point as well. And then we have a pale, sort of mother of pearl style. And then a green. Can you see that? And then this is the flower book. Let me show you, I've got a few pages from these. You have more of the contents, lists of flowers. I like that in itself. Where the names come. Oh. I wish it wouldn't accept a phone call when you're in the middle of filming. I've got to piece these together now. Silly phones. Okay, so this is all still from the same book. Of flowers, wild flowers. And you get one of the illustrated pages. This one is double-sided, where the one in the first pack wasn't. Yellow Pimpernel, Ragged Robin. Lovely old illustrations, I love that. This is a really old notebook. It's got character. You could just use it as a notebook. You could use the pages or you could upcycle it in some way. I'm leaving that to you to do with what you will. We have a label. Maybe you want to make some art up and send it to someone for a birthday. Happy birthday to and from. We have the small sheets, same as the other pack. Uh, the shiny cream and then the very matte blue and red. We have a different napkin this time. We have feathers this time. We have, again one sided this design and this design Put that over there and then a matching set of postcards if you wish to use them like that but equally these will go really well just in a larger uh, a background or um, a collage old advertisements okay what should we do next we have got the little Tiny book of birds and bird eggs. The willow warbler. The long-eared owl. Illustrated, you have a few eggs and then you've got marsh harrier. I like that there. It's a really cute, cute book. Again, very, very old. I think that one's from the 30s or 20s or something. The single sheet ready to use. I've taken off the extra ply napkin. So if you paste this down onto something, all the white areas will disappear and it will blend in to your background. £10 note. Grip, shelf grip, draw liner, 
stamp stencil you can get many uses of it for stamps and stenciling and then you can use it at the end to just stick on something for texture ditto with the nets paint on them and use them as a stamp stencil through them stick them on things they look fab on top of paint just to give you an idea and put that on there you see that just about and this one I've kept as is it's kind of like a tube so you can tear it apart and just use individual pieces of it you can see how different it is whether you stretch it out or not but uh, it's in the whole tube whether you want to put it around something I don't know sequin waste aka punchinella stamps stencil makes fantastic it works a bit better than bubble wrap if you want your circles to stencil through it and you get the same effect but a little bit better and then again when you're done with using it as a stamp or a stencil you can just stick it on as a decorative piece a couple of envelopes old they're quite old you can tell by the pasted thing there um very cute let me just pop this underneath because it's not lying down and just weight it down hide it in there somewhere and your other envelope let me just show you what's inside these old stamps there's one USA one there these are all British and you can see how old some of them are because they say show a D instead of a P for the pence that's the old pence so you see the 5D and the four, three and a half. Back in the day when we had a half a penny. Lovely stamps. I have a photo of those. I'll pop below so you get a better, longer look at those if you want. So they're inside that envelope. We have two of the brass markers that are for, they're made as garden tags for whatever you're growing. Please be careful about the sharp edges when you open this pack. But they're very, very lightweight. And I thought you could use them in a name plaque kind of style um, or as a tag. It's highly up to you how you make use of that. Some pink tape. It's not quite masking tape. And it's a little see-through. I don't know how to describe that. And I'm not sure what it's for and what it was, you know, sold as originally. Um, but you can use it to mask off edges and use it like masking tape or you can use it in a decorative fashion tiny little canister of glitter this is a real metallic grey silver this one Put that in there very very cute obviously you can just stick that onto anything you like who doesn't need glitter heart tag with twine two tiny black playing cards which I think are just cute make art cards from them by decorating one side or stick them in your piece as part of the elements of the collage or background piece of this very strange stuff but it's fab I use it and I'm afraid I'm not giving much away as you can see but I had an edge so I thought right I'll throw that in there this is antique very old edge edging lace trimming I don't know what you call it um, I use scraps of these in my pieces and I mix up fabric and paper there's probably going to be a bit more added just before I send it off to you and then we've got these stickers which are made from my artwork and then circle so they're kind of ready to go you pop them on your background you've got instantly some pop so that is pack number two contrast 